Chapter 7 Structural Organization in Animals In the preceding chapters, you came across a large variety of organisms, both unicellular and multicellular of the animal kingdom. In a unicellular organism, all functions like digestion, respiration, and reproduction are performed by a single cell. In the complex body of multicellular animals, the same basic functions are carried out by different groups of cells in a well-organized manner. The body of a simple organism like Hydra is made of different types of cells, and the number of cells in each type can be in thousands. The human body is composed of billions of cells to perform various functions. How do these cells in the body work together? In multicellular animals, a group of similar cells along with intercellular substances perform a specific function. Such an organization is called tissue. You may be surprised to know that all complex animals consist of only four basic types of tissues. These tissues are organized in a specific proportion and pattern to form an organ like stomach, lung, heart, and kidney. When two or more organs perform a common function by their physical and or chemical interaction, they together form organ system. Example, digestive system, respiratory system, etc. Cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems split up the work in a way that exhibits division of labor and contribute to the survival of the body as wholes. 7.1 Animal tissues. The structure of the cell vary according to their function. Therefore, the tissues are different and are broadly classified into four types. Epithelial, connective, muscular, neural. 7.1.1 Epithelial tissue. We commonly refer to an epithelial tissue as epithelium. This tissue has free surface, which faces either a body fluid or the outside environment and thus provides a covering or a lining for some part of the body. The cells are compactly packed with little intracellular matrix. There are two types of epithelial tissues, namely simple epithelium and compound epithelium. Simple epithelium is composed of a single layer of cells and functions as a lining for body cavities, ducts, and tubes. The compound epithelium consists of two or more cell layers and has protective functions as it does in our skin. On the basis of a structural modification of the cell, simple epithelium is further divided into three types. These are squamous, cuboidal, columnar. The squamous epithelium is made of single thin layer of flattened cells with irregular boundaries. They are found in the walls of blood vessels and air sacs of lungs and are involved in functions like forming a diffusion boundary. The cuboidal epithelium is composed of a single layer of tube-like cells. This is commonly found in ducts of glands and tubular parts of nephrons in kidneys and its main function are secretion and absorption. The epithelium of proximal convoluted tubule, that is PCT, of nephron in the kidney has microvilli. The columnar epithelium is composed of a single layer of tall and slender cells. Their nuclei are located at the base. Free surface may have microvilli. They are found in the lining of the stomach and intestine and help in secretion and absorption. If the columnar or cuboidal cells bear cilia on their free surface, they are called ciliated epithelium. Their function is to move particles or mucus in a specific direction over the epithelium. They are mainly present in the inner surface of hollow organs like bronchioles and fallopian tubes. Some of the columnar or cuboidal cells get specialized for secretion and are called glandular epithelium. They are mainly of two types, unicellular consisting of isolated glandular cells that is goblet cells of the alimentary canal and multicellular consisting of cluster of cells that is salivary gland. On the basis of the mode of pouring of their secretions, glands are divided into two categories namely exocrine and endocrine glands. Exocrine glands secrete mucus, saliva, ear wax, oil, milk, digestive enzymes and other cell products. These products are released through ducts or tubes. In contrast, endocrine glands do not have ducts. Their products called hormones are secreted directly into the fluid bathing the gland. Compound epithelium is made of more than one layer that is multi -layered of cells and thus has a limited role in secretion and absorption. Their main function is to provide protection against chemical and mechanical stresses. They cover the dry surface of the skin, the moist surface of buccal cavity, pharynx, inner lining of ducts of salivary glands and of pancreatic ducts. All cells in epithelium are held together with little intercellular material. In nearly all animal tissues, specialized junctions provide both structural and functional links between its individual cells. Three types of cell junctions are found in the epithelium and other tissues. These are called as tight, adhering and gap junctions. Tight junctions help to stop substances from leaking across the tissue. Adhering junctions perform cementing to keep neighboring cells together. Gap junctions facilitate the cells to communicate with each other by connecting the cytoplasm of adjoining cells for rapid transfer of ions, small molecules and sometimes big molecules. 7.1.2 Connective Tissue Connective tissues are most abundant and widely distributed in the body of complex animals. They are named connective tissues because of their special function of linking and supporting other tissues organs of the body. They range from soft connective tissues to specialized type which include cartilage, bone, adipose and blood. In all connective tissues except blood, the cells secrete fibers of a structural protein called collagen or elastin. The fibers provide strength, elasticity and flexibility to the tissue. These cells also secrete modified polysaccharides which accumulate between cells and fibers and act as a matrix that is ground substance. Connective tissues are classified into three types, loose connective tissue, dense connective tissue and a specialized connective tissue. Loose connective tissue has cells and fibers loosely arranged in a semi fluid ground substance, for example, areolar tissue, present beneath the skin. Often it serves as support framework for epithelium. It contains fibroblast, that is cells that produce and secrete fibers, macrophages and mast cells. Adipose tissue is another type of loose connective tissue located mainly beneath the skin. The cells of this tissue are specialized to store fats. The excess of nutrients which are not used immediately are converted into fats and are stored in this tissue. Fibers and fibroblast are compactly packed in the dense connective tissues. Orientation of fibers show a regular or irregular pattern and are called dense regular and dense irregular tissues. In the dense regular connective tissue, the collagen fibers are present in rows between many parallel bundles of fibers. Tendons which attach skeleton muscles to bones and ligaments which attach one bone to another are examples of this tissue. Dense irregular connective tissue has fibroblast and many fibers, mostly collagen, that are oriented differently. The tissue is present in the skin, cartilage, bones, and blood are various types of specialized connective tissue. The intercellular material of cartilage is solid and pliable and resists compression. Cells of this tissue that is chondrocytes and enclosed in small cavities within the matrix secreted by them. Most of the cartilages in vertebrate embryos are replaced by bones in adults. Cartilage is present in the tip of nose, outer ear joints between adjacent bones of the vertebral column, limbs, and hands in adults. Bones have a hard and non-pliable ground substance rich in calcium salts and collagen fibers which give bone its strength. It is the main tissue that provides a structural frame to the body. Bones support and protect softer tissues and organs. The bone cells that is osteocytes are present in the spaces called lacuni. Limb bones such as the long bones of the legs serve weight bearing functions. They also interact with the skeletal muscles attached to them to bring about movements. The bone marrow in some bones is the site of production of blood cells. Blood is a fluid connective tissue containing plasma, red blood cells that is RBC, WBC, the white blood cells and platelets. It is the main circulating fluid that helps in the transport of various substances. You will learn more about blood in chapter 17 and 18. 7.1.3 Muscle tissue. Each muscle is made of many long cylindrical fibers arranged in parallel arrays. These fibers are composed of numerous fine fibrils called myofibrils. Muscle fibers contract, shorten in response to stimulation, then relax and return to their uncontracted state in a coordinated fashion. Their action
action moves the body to adjust to the changes in the environment and to maintain the position of the various parts of the body. In general, muscles play an active role in all the movements of the body. Muscles are of three types: skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. A skeletal muscle tissue is closely attached to skeletal bones. In a typical muscle, such as biceps, striated, that is a stride, skeletal muscle fibers are bundled together in a parallel fashion. A sheath of tough connective tissue encloses several bundles of muscle fibers. The smooth muscle fibers taper at both ends, that is fusiform, and do not show stretions. Cell junctions hold them together and they are bundled together in a connective tissue sheath. The wall of internal organs, such as the blood vessels, stomach, and intestine, contains this type of muscle tissue. Smooth muscles are involuntary as their functioning cannot be directly controlled. We usually are not able to make it contract merely by thinking about it as we can do with the skeletal muscles. Cardiac muscle tissue is a contractile tissue present only in the heart. Cell junctions fuse the plasma membranes of cardiac muscle cells and make them stick together. Communication junctions, that is intercalated discs, at some fusion points allow the cells to contract as a unit. That is when one cell receives a signal to contract, its neighbors are also stimulated to contract. 7.1.4 Neural tissue. Neural tissue exerts the greatest control over the body's responsiveness to changing condition. Neurons, the unit of neural system, are excitable cells. The neuroglial cell which constitute the rest of the neural system protect and support neurons. Neuroglia make up more than one half the volume of neural tissue in our body. When a neuron is suitably stimulated, an electrical disturbance is generated which swiftly travels along its plasma membrane. Arrival of the disturbance at the neuron's ending or output zone triggers event that may cause the stimulation or inhibition of adjacent neurons and other cells. 7.2 Organ and Organ System The basic tissues mentioned above organized to form organs which in turn associate to form organ systems in the multicellular organisms. Such an organization is essential for more efficient and better coordinated activities of millions of cells constituting an organism. Each organ is our body is made of one or more type of tissues. For example, our heart consists of all the four types of tissues that is epithelial, connective, muscular and neural. We also notice after some careful study that the complexity in organ and organ system displays certain discernible trend. This discernible trend is called evolutionary trend. You are being introduced to morphology and anatomy of three organisms at different evolutionary levels to show their organization and functioning. Morphology refers to study of form or externally visible features. In the case of plants or microbes, the term morphology precisely means only this. In case of animals, this refers to the external appearance of the organs of parts of the body. The word anatomy conventionally is used for the study of morphology of internal organs in the animals. You will learn the morphology and anatomy of earthworm, cockroach, and frog representing invertebrates and vertebrates. Bad bodied animals that are included in class Insecta of Phylum Arthropoda. Bright yellow, red, and green colored cockroaches have been also reported in tropical regions. Their size ranges from 1 by 4 inches to 3 inches, that is approximately 0.6 to 7.6 centimeters, and have long antenna, legs, and flat extension of the upper body wall that conceals head. They are nocturnal omnivores that live in damp places throughout the world. They have become residents of human homes and thus are serious pests and factors of several diseases. 7.4.1 Morphology The adults of the common species of cockroach, Periplanata americana, are about 34 to 53 mm long, with wings that extend beyond the tip of the abdomen in males. The body of the cockroach is segmented and divisible into three distinct regions, head, thorax, and abdomen. The entire body is covered by hard, patinous exoskeleton, brown in color it is. In each segment, exoskeleton has hardened plates called sclerites, that is sterites, dorsally, and sternites ventrally, that are joined to each other by a thin and flexible articular membrane that is known as arthrodial membrane. Head is triangular in shape and lies anteriorly at right angles to the longitudinal body axis. It is formed by the fusion of six segments and shows great mobility in all directions due to flexible neck. The head capsule bears a pair of compound eyes. A pair of thread-like antennae arise from membranous sockets lying in front of eyes. Antennae have sensory receptors that help in monitoring the environment. Anterior end of the head bears appendages forming biting and chewing type of mouth parts. The mouth parts consisting of a labrum that is upper lip, a pair of mandibles, a pair of maxillae, and a labium that is lower lip, a median flexible lobe acting as tongue, which is also known as hypopharynx, lies within the cavity enclosed by the mouth parts. Thorax consists of three parts, prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. The head is connected with thorax by a short extension of the prothorax known as the neck. Each thoracic segment bears a pair of walking legs. The first pair of wings arises from mesothorax and the second pair from metathorax. Four wings, that is mesothoracic called tegmina, are opaque, dark, and leathery and covered the hind wings when at rest. The hind wings are transparent, membranous, and are used in flight. The abdomen in both males and females consists of 10 segments. In females, the 7th sternum is boat-shaped and together with the 8th and 9th sternum forms a brood or genital pouch whose anterior part contains female gonopore. The spermatical pores and collateral glands in male, genital pouch or chamber lies at the hind end of abdomen, bounded dorsally by 9th and 10th sterga and ventrally by the 9th sternum. It contains dorsal anus, ventral male genital pore and gonapophysis. Males bear a pair of short, thread-like anal styles, which are absent in females. In both sexes, the 10th segment bears a pair of jointed filamentous structure called anal cerci. 7.4.2 Anatomy The alimentary canal present in the body cavity is divided into three regions, foregut, midgut, and hindgut. The mouth opens into a short tubular pharynx, leading to a narrow tubular passage called esophagus. This in turn opens into a sac-like structure called crop, used for storing of food. The crop is followed by gizzard or preventriculus. It has an outer layer of thick circular muscles and thick inner cuticle forming six highly titanous plates called teeth. Gizzard helps in grinding the food particles. The entire foregut is lined by cuticle, a ring of six to eight blind tubules called hepatic or gastric Sika is present at the junction of foregut and midgut, which secrete digestive juice. At the junction of midgut and hindgut is present another ring of 100 to 150 yellow colored thin filamentous malpigian tubules. They help in removal of excretory products from hemolymph. The hindgut is broader than midgut and is differentiated into ilium, colon, and rectum. The rectum opens out through anus. Blood muscular system of cockroach is an open type. Blood vessels are poorly developed and open into space, that is, hemocele. Visceral organs located in the hemocele are bathed in blood, that is, the hemolymph. The hemolymph is composed of colorless plasma and hemocytes. Heart of cockroach consists of elongated muscular tube lying along mid dorsal line of thorax and abdomen. It is differentiated into funnel shaped chambers with ostea on either side. Blood from sinuses enter heart through ostea and is pumped anteriorly to sinuses again. The respiratory system consists of a network of trachea that open through 10 pairs of small holes called spiracles present on the lateral side of the body. Thin branching tubes, that is tracheal tubes, subdivided into tracheoles, carry oxygen from the air to all the parts. The opening of the spiracles is regulated by the sphincters. Exchange of gases take place at the tracheoles by diffusion. 
Excretion is performed by malpighian tubules. Each tubule is lined by glandular and ciliated cells. They absorb nitrogenous waste products and convert them into uric acid, which is excreted out through the hind gut. Therefore, this insect is called a uricotelic. In addition, the fat body nephrocytes and uricose gland also help in excretion. The nervous system of cockroach consists of a series of fused segmentally arranged ganglia joined by paired longitudinal connective on the ventral side. Three ganglia lie in the thorax and six in the abdomen. The nervous system of cockroach is spread throughout the body. The head holds a bit of a nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral, that is belly side part of its body. So now you understand that if the head of a cockroach is cut off, it will still live for as long as one week. In the head region, the brain is represented by supraesophageal ganglion which supplies nerves to antennae and compound eyes. In cockroach, the sense organs are antennae, eyes, maxillary pulps, labial pulps, anal sulci, etc. The compound eyes are situated at the dorsal surface of the head. Each eye consists of about 2000 hexagonal omitidia. With the help of several omitidia, a cockroach can receive several images of an object. This kind of vision is known as mosaic vision, with more sensitivity but less resolution, being common during night, hence called nocturnal vision. Cockroaches are dioecious and both sexes have well-developed reproductive organs. Male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes, one lying on each lateral side in the fourth to sixth abdominal segments. From each testis arises a thin vas deferens which opens into ejaculatory duct through seminal vesicle. The ejaculatory duct opens into male gonopore situated ventral to anus. A characteristic mushroom-shaped gland is present in the sixth to seventh abdominal segments which functions as an accessory reproductive gland. The external genitalia are represented by male gonapophysis or phallomere. Chitinous asymmetrical structures surrounding the male gonopore. The sperms are stored in the seminal vesicles and are glued together in the form of bundles called spermatophores, which are discharged during copulation. The female reproductive system consists of two large ovaries lying laterally in the second to sixth abdominal segments. Each ovary is formed of a group of eight ovarian tubules or ovarioles containing a chain of developing ova. Oviducts of each ovary unite into a single median oviduct, also called vagina, which opens into the genital chamber. A pair of spermatica is present in the sixth segment, which opens into the genital chamber. Sperms are transferred through spermatophores. Their fertilized eggs are encased in capsules called uthika. Uthika, uh, uthika is a dark reddish to blackish brown capsule about 3 by 8 that is around 8 mm long. They are dropped or glued to a suitable surface, usually in a crack or cervix of higher relative humidity near a food source. On an average, female produce 9 to 10 uthika, each containing 14 to 16 eggs. The development of Periplaneta americana is porometabolous, meaning there is development through nymphal stage. The nymphs look very much like adults. The nymph grows by molting about 13 times to reach the adult form. The next to last nymphal stage has wings has wing pads but only adult cockroaches have wings. Many species of cockroaches are wild and are of no known economic importance yet. A few species thrive in around human habitat. They are pests because they spoil food and contaminate it with their smelly excreta. They can transmit a variety of bacterial diseases by contaminating food material. 7.5 Frogs Frogs can live both on land and in freshwater and belong to class Amphibia of phylum Chordata. The most common species of frog found in India is Rana tigrina. They do not have constant body temperature, that is their body temperature varies with the temperature of the environment. Such animals are called cold-blooded or poikilotherms. You might have also noticed changes in the color of the frogs while they are in grasses and on dry land. They have the ability to change the color to hide them from their enemies. That is known as camouflage. This protective coloration is called the mimicry. You may also know that frogs are not seen during peak summer and peak winter. During this period, they take shelter in deep burrows to protect them from extreme heat and cold. This is known as summer sleep, that is estivation, and winter sleep hibernation, respectively. 7.5.1 Morphology Have you ever touched the skin of frog? The skin is smooth and slippery due to the presence of mucus. The skin is always maintained in a moist condition. The color of dorsal side of body is generally olive green with dark irregular spots. On the ventral side, the skin is uniformly pale yellow. The frog never drinks water but absorbs it through the skin. Body of a frog is divisible into head and trunk. A neck and tail are absent. Above the mouth, a pair of nostrils are present. Eyes are buzzed and covered by nictitating membrane that protects them while in water. On either side of eyes, a membranous tympanum receives sound signals. The forelimbs and hindlimbs help in swimming, walking, leaping, and burrowing. The hindlimbs end in five digits and they are larger and muscular than forelimbs that end in four digits. Feet have webbed digits that help in swimming. Frogs exhibit sexual dimorphism. Male frogs can be distinguished by the presence of sound producing vocal sacs and also a copulatory pad on the first digit of the forelimbs, which are absent in female frogs. 7.5.2 Anatomy the body cavity of frogs accommodate different organ systems such as digestive, circulatory, respiratory, nervous, excretory, and reproductive systems with well-developed structures and function. The digestive system consists of alimentary canal and digestive glands. The alimentary canal is short because frogs are carnivorous and hence the length of and hence the length of intestine is reduced. The mouth opens into the buccal cavity that leads to the esophagus through pharynx. Esophagus is a short tube that opens into the stomach which in turn continues as intestine. The rectum and finally opens outside by the cloaca. Liver secretes bile that is stored in the gallbladder. Pancreas, a digestive gland, produces pancreatic juice containing digestive enzymes. Food is captured by the bilobitum. Digestion of food takes place by the action of HCL and gastric juice is secreted from the walls of the stomach. Partially digested food called chyme is passed from the stomach to the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum. The duodenum receives bile from gallbladder and pancreatic juices from the pancreas through a common bile duct. Bile emulsifies fat and pancreatic juices, digest carbohydrates and proteins. Final digestion takes place in the intestine. Digested food is absorbed by the numerous finger-like folds in the inner wall of intestine called villi and microvilli. The undigested solid waste moves into the rectum and passes out through cloaca. Frogs respire on land and in the water by two different methods. In water, the skin acts as aquatic respiratory organ, that is cutaneous respiration. Dissolved oxygen in the water is exchanged through the skin by diffusion. On land, the buccal cavity, skin and lungs act as respiratory organs. The respiration by lungs is called pulmonary respiration. The lungs are a pair of elongated, pink-colored, sac-like structures present in the upper part of the trunk region, that is thorax. Air enters through the nostrils into the buccal cavity and then into the lungs. During estivation and hibernation, gaseous exchange takes place through skin. 
The vascular system of frog is a well-developed closed type. Frogs have a lymphatic system also. The blood vascular system involves heart, blood vessels and blood. The lymphatic system consists of lymph, lymph channel and lymph node. Heart is a muscular structure situated in the upper part of the body cavity. It has three chambers, two atria and one ventricle and is covered by a membrane called pericardium. A triangular structure called sinus venosus joins the right atrium. It receives blood through the major veins called vena cava. The ventricle opens into a sac like conus arteriosus on the ventral side of the heart. The blood from the heart is carried to all parts of the body by the arteries, that is arterial system. The veins collect blood from different parts of the body to the heart and form the venous system. A special venous connection between liver and intestine as well as the kidney and lower parts of the body are present in frogs. The former is called the hepatic portal system and the later is called the renal portal system. The blood is composed of plasma and cells. The blood cells are RBC or erythrocyte, WBC or leukocytes and platelets. RBCs are nucleated and contain red colored pigment, namely hemoglobin. The lymph is different from blood. It lacks few proteins and RBCs. The blood carries nutrients, gases and water to the respective sites during the circulation. The circulation of blood is achieved by the pumping action of the muscular heart. The elimination of nitrogenous waste is carried out by a well-developed excretory system. The excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys, ureters, cloaca and urinary bladder. These are compact, dark red and bean-like structures situated a little posteriorly in the body cavity on both sides of vertebral column. Each kidney is composed of several structural and functional units called uriniferous tubules or nephrons. Two ureters emerge from the kidneys in the male frogs. The ureters act as urinogenital duct which opens into the cloaca. In females, the ureters and oviduct open separately in the cloaca. The thin-walled urinary bladder is present ventral to the rectum which also opens into the cloaca. The frog excretes urea and thus is a ureotelic animal. Excretory waste are carried by blood into the kidney where it is separated and excreted. The system for control and coordination is highly evolved in the frog. It includes both neural system and endocrine glands. The chemical coordination of various organs of the body is achieved by hormones which are secreted by the endocrine glands. The prominent endocrine glands found in frog are pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, pineal body, pancreatic islets, adrenals and gonads. The nervous system is organized into a central nervous system that is brain and spinal cord, a peripheral nervous system that is cranial and spinal nerves and an autonomic nervous system that is sympathetic and parasympathetic. There are 10 pairs of cranial nerves arising from the brain. Brain is enclosed in a bony structure called brain box that is cranium. The brain is divided into forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Forebrain includes olfactory lobes, paired cerebral hemispheres and unpaired diencephalon. The midbrain is characterized by a pair of optic lobes. Hindbrain consists of cerebellum and medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata passes out through the foramen magnum and continues into the spinal cord which is enclosed in the vertebral column. Frog has different types of sense organs, namely organs of touch that is sensory papillae, taste, taste buds, smell, nasal epithelium, vision, eyes and hearing, tympanum and internal ears. Out of these, eyes and internal ears are well-organized structures and the rest are cellular aggregations around nerve endings. Eyes in a frog. Eyes in a frog are a pair of spherical structures situated in the orbit in the skull. These are simple eyes, possessing only one unit. External ear is absent in frogs and only tympanum can be seen externally. The ear is an organ of hearing as well as balancing, that is equilibrium. Frogs have well-organized male and female reproductive systems. Male reproductive organs consist of a pair of yellowish ovoid testes, which are found added to the upper part of kidneys by a double fold of peritoneum called mesorachium. Vasa frenchia are 10 to 12 in number that arise from testes. They enter the kidneys on their side and open into Bidder's canal. Finally, it communicates with the urinogenital duct that comes out of the kidneys and opens into the cloaca. The cloaca is a small median chamber that is used to pass fecal matter, urine and sperms to the exterior. The female reproductive organs include a pair of ovaries. The ovaries are situated near kidneys and there is no functional connection with kidneys. A pair of oviduct arising from the ovaries opens into the cloaca separately. A mature female can lay 25 500 to 3000 ova at a time. Fertilization is external and takes place in water. Development involves a larval stage called tadpole. Tadpole undergoes metamorphosis to form the adult. Frogs are beneficial for mankind because they eat insects and protect the crop. Frogs maintain ecological balance because these serves as an important link of food chain and food web in the ecosystem. In some countries, the muscular legs of frogs are used as food by men. Summary. Cell tissues, organs and organ systems split up the work in a way that ensures the survival of the body as a whole and exhibit division of labor. A tissue is defined as a group of cells along with intercellular substances performing one or more functions in the body. Epithelia are sheet-like tissues lining the body's surface and its cavities, ducts and tubes. Epithelia have one free surface facing a body fluid or the outside environment. Their cells are structurally and functionally connected at junctions. Diverse types of connected tissues bind together, support, strengthen protect and insulate other tissue in the body. Soft connected tissue consists of protein fibers as well as a variety of cells arranged in a ground substance. Cartilage, bone, blood and adipose tissue are specialized connected tissues. Cartilage and bone are both structural materials. Blood is a fluid tissue with transport functions. Adipose tissue is a reservoir of stored energy. Muscle tissue which can contract in response to stimulation. Helps in movement of the body and specific body parts. A skeletal muscle is a muscle tissue attached to bones. A smooth muscles is a component of internal organs. Cardiac muscles makes up the contractile walls of the heart. Connected tissue covers all three types of tissues. Nervous tissue excretes greatest control over the response of body. Neurons are the basic units of nervous system. Earthworm, cockroach and frog show characteristics features in body organization. The body of cockroach, Periplanata americana, is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. It is divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. Segments bear jointed appendages. There are three segments of thorax, each bearing a pair of walking legs. Two pairs of wings are present on one pair each on second and third segment. There are ten segments in abdomen. Alimentary canal is well developed with a mouth surrounded by mouth parts, a pharynx, oesophagus, crop gizzard, midgut, hindgut, and anus. Hepatic CT are present at the junction of foregut and midgut. Malpighian tubules are present at the junction of midgut and hindgut and help in excretion. A pair of salivary gland is present near crop. The blood vascular system is of open type. Respiration takes place by network of trachea. Trachea opens outside the spiracles. Nervous system is represented by segmentally arranged ganglia and ventral nerve cord. A pair of testes is present in 4 to 6 segment and ovaries in 2nd to 6 segment. Fertilization is internal. Female produces 9 to 10 uthika bearing developing embryos. After rupturing of single uthika, 16 young ones called nymphs come out. The Indian bullfrog Rana Tigrina is a common frog found in India. Body is covered by skin. Mucous glands are present in the skin, which is highly vascularized and helps in respiration in water and on land. Body is divisible into head and trunk. A muscular tongue is present, which is bilobed at the tip and is used in capturing the prey. The alimentary canal consists of esophagus, stomach, intestine, and rectum, which open into the cloaca. The main digestive glands are liver and pancreas
Circulatory system is closed with the skin circulation. RBCs are nucleated. Nervous system is organized into central, peripheral, and autonomic. The organs of urinogenital system are kidneys and urinogenital ducts, which open into the cloaca. The male reproductive organ is a pair of testes. The female reproductive organ is a pair of ovaries. A female lays 2,500 to 3,000 ova at a time. The fertilization and development are external. The eggs hatch into tadpoles, which metamorphose into frogs. Chapter completed. Thank you.